everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who don't know, I am dairy free at the moment because Lachlan possibly has a cow's milk intolerance and I'm still feeding him. So I have to be dairy free and I've been dairy free for almost six months now. And the one thing that I kind of struggled with even more at the beginning, even though before I had to go dairy free, I wasn't much of a snacker, like I really wasn't into biscuits or chocolate or anything like that. But it's really weird when you cut something out and you can't have it, all of a sudden you want it all the time. So this is gonna be kind of like a video just about very quickly quite a few dairy free snacks that i've picked up along the way because you don't realize how much dairy is in things it's crazy like salt and vinegar crisps a lot of them have dairy in them a lot of crisps in general actually obviously chocolate lots of biscuits so this is very junk food orientated by the way this is not like a healthy dairy free video i'll do one of those on another day but this is just a few things that i have found around the supermarket no ads no nothing i've literally this is just all stuff i found in whatever supermarket i've been in and also half the stuff's half eaten, so sorry about that. <laughs> the first thing are coconut macaroons. These are Mrs. Crumbles. Deliciously gluten-free and they're dairy-free as well. So they look like this if you've never seen one before. They're quite like gooey and sticky, really tasty. I was literally about to just eat that there. It's terrible. It's another thing about breastfeeding. It makes you want to eat all the time. So yeah, these are really good. I can't vouch for the fact that they're good for you because they are probably not 144 calories. And they've got coconut, sugar, glucose syrup, egg white, um, potato starch, and dextrose. But very tasty. Next up, there's a few things from this brand I actually found in co-op randomly. Um, I think I was in at the post office or something. And they're called Fabulous Free From Factory with no other, get it, <laughs> ingredients. So these are their dairy-free chocolate raisins, which are really nice. I've had these before. And yeah, just raisins, sugar, cocoa butter, Soya flowers, so if you have to have soy, if you have to cut out soy as well, then these would not be for you. Um, cocoa mass, and yeah, that's it. So they taste kind of like raisins with dark chocolate. It's probably the best way I can describe them, but very tasty. And everything from that brand, the Fabulous Free From Factory, are these dairy-free raspberry ice bites. I think they're meant to be like coconut ice. Luscious, Moorish, raspberry, God, I cannot speak. Raspy, juicy, icy bites. Them. They are deliciously handcrafted, unique raspberry ice made with zesty raspberry puree. They are, I have tasted these. Yeah, I tasted these around someone else's house, that's what it was. And yeah, they were really nice. So they've got sugar, glucose syrup, glucose syrup. Every time I say this, it just makes me feel really awful. Um, coconut, raspberry puree, and then beetroot coloring and flavoring is caramel. So yeah, they're not good for you, but nice as a little treat. And they're in very small little bits, so you could have just have two. So on the same line as the raisins, these are their dairy-free choco-covered crunchy bites. So they've got honeycomb, they're meant to be like, like a crunchy bar or whatever. And yeah, they're pretty nice too. And lastly from that brand are these dairy-free fudge which are deliciously handcrafted fudge made with raw sugar and soya. And yeah, I've had one of these, I'm gonna have one right now actually. Um, I had some of these the other night and they're a bit harder than normal fudge, but they're all right. I'm not gonna lie, it's not as good as real fudge, but meh. I find that with a lot of things, that like you kind of build up this taste tolerance to things that you know don't taste right, like they don't taste the way they would be if you had the dairy version, but you just build up the expectation in your mind, I guess, so that's just what it tastes like, so you accept it more. I found that a lot with like coconut milk and almond milk, which I do quite like. Soy milk I'm not a big fan of, but I can tolerate it now, so yeah, fun and games. Um, next up, Oreos. Oreos, surprisingly, are dairy free. I think someone told me on Instagram and I was like, what? Because even like the marketing, like that looks like milk. You just assume there's milk in them, but no. Nope. Another surprising one that social media told me about was uh, Jaffa Cakes. These are just cheapy Jaffa Cakes from Tesco. And yep, yeah, no milk in there either because it is dark chocolate on the top, not milk chocolate. And I just a couple crisp options because I really, I'm more of a crisp and savory person than a sweet person. And I've really struggled with the fact that there is a lot of dairy in crisps, which just blows my mind. So yeah, Pringles, Originals, one option. And then the only Doritos you can have are the Chili Heat Wave ones and the plain ones, I believe, or the plain ones with the lime, but none of the blue ones or the orange ones or anything like that. So these are Doritos Chili Heat Wave. So that was just a really quick roundup of some junk food dairy bits that I buy in. I'm getting a lot of requests for dairy-free videos, that's why I'm doing things like this. So hopefully it's helped any of you that have to be dairy-free for whatever reason. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you soon. Bye.